Hey everybody, welcome to Dan Bowen Photography. Today I just wanted to do a quick video to update you on some things that I've been planning for this channel and just give you a sense of where this channel is headed over the course of the fall and in the next year or so and some of the things that I want to do with it. So when I started this channel earlier this year, I think I posted one of my first videos in late January or early February, um, I sort of modeled my channel off of other film channels like Matt Day's channel or The Art of Photography, which is basically just um, me as a talking head giving my perspective on different things related to film photography or just trying to give little educational videos on things related to film photography or photography in general. And lately I've been feeling like uh, my content has sort of fallen into this formula that I don't necessarily want to stick to moving forward. Um, I spend a lot of time watching other YouTube content and other channels and seeing the creative things that people are doing with their channels and it makes me want to do something a little bit more artistic or creative with my content. Um, lately I've been watching this YouTuber, his name's Ash Taylor, and he produces these um, really artistic and cinematic product reviews. Now they're mostly reviews of smartphones and things, but just the way he lights things and uh, uses interesting editing techniques and transitions and the way he stylizes his images, it just creates this really awesome content that is something that I would like to do for my channel. Now, when I started making YouTube videos, I really didn't know much of anything about um, creating videos or video editing. Um, right now, the way I put together my content is I basically, I set up my light, I set my Sony A6000 on a tripod, and I just shoot different clips and then edit them together with Adobe Photoshop. And that's worked for me fairly well so far. But moving forward, I want to do something a little bit different, and I want to take a little bit more time on my videos and plan them out a little bit better. Um, to, right now, like I said, I basically put together um, my videos in a day or two. I will shoot clips and edit them the same day, or maybe in some cases I will uh, take an extra day to do the editing. Um, but it doesn't require a lot of advanced planning. Now, some of the videos do, certainly, with uh, film stock reviews and gear reviews. I have to go out and shoot with the cameras, I have to go out and shoot rolls of film and get them developed and do stuff with that, and that does require planning. But I've been wanting to be a little bit more strategic in how I put my videos together and try to make them with a little bit higher quality. Now I'm thankful for all the people who have subscribed to my channel so far, and even in the last like two or three months I've gained uh, over 250 subscribers from where I was earlier in the summer. So it's really fantastic to see that. But moving forward I do want to do something a little bit different with the channel and try to make videos that are just a little bit higher quality. Now I realize this isn't something that I'm going to achieve overnight. Um, there's a big learning curve with doing video editing and learning new software and there are some limitations with the gear I currently have and I just don't have the money to invest in a lot of really expensive gear or high quality gear. So I kind of have to make do with what I have and make the most of that, which I think is really interesting too because that adds a creative side to things. Now moving forward to I have mentioned before that I do want to do some content on digital photography, but this will be a very small portion of what I continue to do, at least as far as I see over the next year. I have a long, long list of videos that I want to do about film photography content, and that stuff takes precedence over anything I would do for digital photography. That being said, there are some really interesting things that are happening with technology and digital cameras today. Um, there's a lot of really interesting things coming to market, like uh, the different drones that DJI is putting out, action cams from GoPro, and smaller companies like Yi, and uh, companies like Sony and Fujifilm are really pushing things forward with digital cameras, so I think there's some really interesting things, and right now is a very uh, exciting time to be a creator. Um, whether you're a videographer, or photographer, or some hybrid of the both, uh, like myself, this is a really interesting time to see how you can leverage the existing technology to uh, maximize your own creativity. So moving forward, I, 
uh, don't know exactly what some of this stuff is going to look like or how long it's going to take me to put videos together. So I don't know if this means that less videos will be coming out for me over the course of the fall. I hope that's not the case. Um, I'm trying to stick to uh, basically a video a week when time permits. Um, sometimes things come up, like over the course of the next couple weeks, I have to go to two weddings. Uh, one of them's out of state, which is really exciting, but means I won't have a ton of time to put together more videos. So yeah, I just basically wanted to let you guys know what I've been thinking about with this channel because I've been really trying to rethink the way I do things and think about how I can make better use of my time and then do things that make the videos more interesting and higher quality uh, so that you guys stay entertained and more interested in the videos and I feel a little bit more fulfilled as a creative and not like I'm just slapping things together at the last minute. So as always, if you like the videos, please subscribe. I think if you're watching this video, you're probably one of my subscribers already, um, which is really cool. I'm very thankful for everybody who's stuck around uh, over the past 10 months that I've been making videos on YouTube. And I've got a lot of exciting stuff coming forward. Um, so I'm hoping that you guys will stick around or new people will come on and join and find uh, my content. And so thank you all so much and we'll see you soon. This has been Dan Bone Photography. Later.